Hey guys, it's Dawn here, and today I want to show you my uh, Singer uh, 101. Mine is from 1931, and these were made from the 1920 to 1932. And about uh, 230,475 machines were made at that time, so they're not too common. <clears throat> they're also a little bit more expensive than others at $140 to $170. At that time, that was um, quite expensive for a machine. So uh, that's another reason why um, they're not seen so much. One of the things that you'll see right away is that it has a really large... Uh, throat area here, and I'll measure that for you later. Um, it also does not have um, the the plug mounted over here. You know the thingy uh, doesn't have that. It has a small hand wheel. Um, here's your uh, bobbin winder. Uh, it has this thing over here. You just take a flathead screwdriver and just pop that out, and that gives you access to the gears. The light is mounted. And it comes actually out from the body. There's um, screws here that you can use to loosen this whole thing up. And then it has a metal um, lamp. And that light bulb is actually original. So 87 years old and that light bulb is still going. Um, the, it has a potted motor on the back here and that's what it looks like it's very clean looking you don't have wires coming out of it because the, the wire in the motor actually comes out from inside and it runs down here and it goes down so this one can can't really be converted this is um, made specifically for electric use and but see how nice and clean that looks uh, hand wheels, really easy and basic. Uh, you do have a clutch, so you can uh, re release the clutch if you want to wind the bobbin, um, tighten it up. Really nice and easy and smooth to use. If you want to remove the hand wheel, there are two set screws underneath that will show up when you... Oh, it's too dark for you, but it will be under here. Loosen or take the, uh, one set screw out turn the hand wheel to reveal the other one, take that one out, and then you can uh, pop the hand wheel out. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? This one has the school bell uh, bobbin tensioner, and you can it has a um, thread holder for the bobbin, or, so you can actually you know sew and thread a bobbin at the same time if you wanted to. It has the scroll work uh, face, it uses standard 15 by 1 needles and it is threaded from left to right so your needle will be the flat side of the needle the flat side is facing the right okay it has uh, uses class 66 drop-in bobbins it has a horizontal rotary um, uh, there and to take off the to access the lower um, gear assembly, you just unscrew these four screws on the bed. There's one in each corner-ish. Um, unscrew that. <clears throat> you do have to remove the, the foot and the needle, and then you can lift this whole thing up and pivot it out, and it's actually really easy to use. Your stitch length selector is over here, and it goes from 6 to 30 stitches per inch. Um, thereabouts. There are no markings uh, that say that it is a Singer 101, just a serial number, and then there are certain things like I don't think any other model has this thing where you can remove the whole this whole entire bedpan comes out and the stitch length selector is down here and then there is nothing over here to show the 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 motor um, plug is not over here and then you got the potted motor um, back here that looks like that and then you have this coming out here and this um, metal uh, so, I mean, oh, and then this thing too. So there are a lot of things that distinguish it from the other models. Um, all right, so let's see, what else can I tell you? It's a direct drive, uh, about 0.6 amp potted motor, about 30% faster uh, than the 201 at about 1,000 stitches per minute. Uh, there is no reverse on it, but um, instead of reverse, you know, using a reverse, what you can do is either flip the fabric around, or 
if you switch this all the way past um, 30 to let's see there's an arrow there to this line over here or this one over here um, on either end then that that just makes it um, stay still and tack and so you can tack that way um, or you can also do like a 30 and that'll make a really really close together and or you can hold the fabric still to make it um, stationary tack uh, so you, you have options for tacking down but there is no reverse and you cannot drop the feed dogs on this but you can screw in um, a feed dog cover uh, so you can do that for free motion um, quilting or whatever let's see anything else I'm trying to think underneath here another unique thing is the oil it has an oil sump and a um, spider wicking system and if you want to see that there are videos on YouTube and also my other video called uh, taking apart the singer 101 that one I show you where I've um, removed the motor and uh, taking this bedpan out and I show you all the gears inside uh, to take out the motor is really simple this screw here this one is on the motor itself so um, don't touch this one until you get the motor out and then you see what it is and if you want to play with that but to remove the motor is just really simple you just unscrew this and then you twist and you can get that motor um, off very easily um okay so i think i can show you mine uh came with this desk that i still have to clean up but it has a knee lever and so i'm not quite used to that yet and i do want to get this thing um rewired so that i don't have to use it oops let me see, let me see. all right let me actually show you the bobbin first um to do this hold on one second all i did was um disconnect the clutch which you just hold this still and then turn this to the left so that this uh, moves freely and you just pop your bobbin thingy your bobbin on there you see that little tiny pin right there that is that's going to need to go into this hole right here so line this up uh, so it's in there and then push this down oops sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand and that'll click into place um, have your thread going here to here to there and then just wind the bobbin and once this gets full then it will automatically pop back out so you can see this is just lining up into there and winding the bobbin all right so then when it pops out mine's still sticky because i haven't really played with that yet all right so now i think i can show you some sewing on it i'm going to have to tighten up the clutch. Alright, so first we'll do six stitches per inch. Go ahead and do nine. Set it to 12. And 
15. Twenty. Thirty. This is the back side, this is the front side, <clears throat> and then um, this is uh, two, two layers of cotton, so fold it in half, fold it again, fold it again, and then we're going to fold it one last time, <clears throat> so it's nice and thick, look at how thick that is. Uh, I'm going to do my stitch at six. No problems at all sewing this thick. And the stitches even look really pretty doing it too. So you got about eight inches to about eight inches from this, um, from the foot, the right side of the foot, over to the bottom over here, which this slopes, um, slopes in a little bit. 
and that's about seven and a half inches up higher in the middle okay so this is just a really large space So overall, this is an impressive machine. Um, honestly, I was going to sell this one because I already have a 201 and like four 301s and um, 221s and and I have my my Viking, um, my Husky 21A, some uh, Kenmore, um, Nechi, and stuff like that. So I didn't really think I needed another straight stitch machine. But this is a workhorse. It is designed to be a workhorse. It, it performs like a workhorse. It's very, very solid. Um, this one was 87 years old. And it was non-operational when I got it. And completely locked up and just after some cleaning and um, tuning up and stuff then it is it is working great even the original light bulb is still in there and working well the light switch just goes on like this and light lights up very well so I would definitely recommend this machine to be added to your collection uh, the only thing is um, no drop. The feed dogs don't drop down. It doesn't have a reverse, but there are other techniques you can do instead of reverse. This dial, turning the dial, is a little bit more of um, a hassle than you know the lever on on there. But I mean, all of those things are things that you can definitely get used to if you really wanted to. And um, I mean, the performance of this is outstanding i mean there is no arguing that it makes some of the nicest stitches ever i see we can focus on here So there you go, the Singer 101. Hope that helps, and just let me know if there are any questions. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.